Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks and it's another little update for um, for you guys that are interested in what I've um, procured for my upcoming store Hobby Box. Now I realise that I've been talking about uh, Hobby Box coming up for quite a long time and it seems like it's never going to happen but it is, it's just um, quite a big kind of undertaking and that's because so many people have a website that's very small and um, if you've got a blog website or you put a little bit of products on your blog website, easy to do. But mine has been quite a challenge for Chris, I have to say. He's my web designer. And up until now, the most challenging one that he's had has probably been my nephew who um, has a dog food business. And... Uh, He's had quite a lot of products and, but see, he doesn't do things like sending it through the mail. He does deliveries. So I'm the only one really that has had this kind of problem to get over. Um, plus there's an awful lot of products, an awful lot of ways that need to be displayed. Uh, it's not just yarn, it's not just accessories. It's all kinds of hobby products. So. As I'm expanding and we're uploading, then we get to find the areas that need working on. And one of them is something I've got to show you. And I messaged Chris yesterday because, um, well, how can I put it? When you go on a website, normally you look at, for instance, um, King Cole Acorn Aaron and you'll, you'll click on it and then you get all of the options and the colours come up at once. And that's uploaded in a certain way. But to do that is uh, causes us problems. So there are websites that do them individually and do them on a group. And so that you can look for the individual products and they're all listed there and they come up down in a long line. But you also get a little drop down box where you can choose the colour. So they've uploaded both ways, which again is very, very complicated. So for now, we're uploading each thing individually. So when you kind of search, say, for instance, Clover, um, you're going to just get loads and loads of Clover products. Now, I've ordered Clover uh, knitting needles and a few bits and pieces I'm going to show you today. Um, I know this is crochet rocks, but this is for hobby rocks, which is all hobbies. So these are, I've got quite a few different sizes. These are the double pointed bamboo knitting needles. Now they're quite small and I've got quite a few different sizes in those. And for some strange reason, they come in five, which is a bit bizarre to me. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to get some of the um, I did research into what knitting needles were considered the best and I saw um, I, I got kind of a good um, review table um, which I've saved on my um, computer and one of the ones that were really really popular and um, had the best reviews well not surprisingly Clover because they've got kind of the I would say a the best reviews of crochet hooks so it follows doesn't it now i can feel that these are bamboo which a lot of people like bamboo especially with the kind of save the planet kind of ethos as well but i can feel just how smooth these are through the through the cellophane and um so i've got quite a lot of individual ones which this is my favorite size of crochet i don't mean thin i mean length I like short hook, uh, needles, short needles, because of the way that I hold my knitting. Now these are too long for me, I don't really like them, but I kind of hold it like this. So as you can see, it I obstruct my own knitting unless I sit kind of like this, which gives me a shoulder ache. So I like little ones, and I've got some nice little ones somewhere. I don't know what make they are, but they're kind of snazzy, I don't know where I put them. But um, this is kind of my favourite length. Now, obviously, scarves, perfect for scarves, for small things like squares or whatever, uh, doing a small area, um, a strip of edging. 
but not necessarily good for lengthwise. So um, I've got this, and what are these? Let's have a look. Oh, that's the wrong one, isn't it? Uh, these are 23 centimetres long, and I've got various sizes, as you could see. Then I went up to, th uh, that's 23, uh, went up to the next size. Um, I've lost one somewhere along the line, 33 inches long. So I ordered quite a few different ones of those. So if you can imagine, if you're looking on the site, you're going to suddenly get loads of different choices. And then I've got these, which are 40 centimetres long, which are my worst nightmare. That's another one of the 33s. But my worst nightmare would be this length. So then, obviously, um, I'd also got some um, regular kind of pony ones. And that brings you on then, if you're going to do big area, a lot of people now like the, you know, the circular knitting needles or um, interchangeables. So I did get these Knit Pro Core Bonds uh, interchangeables. Now they're very thin ones. Um, they were, I don't think they had the larger ones. They were a bit out of stock of a lot of things, but I started to get them. And this isn't the only brand that I've got coming. So I got those put them there um these needles double pointed needles they are the knit pro zing in a lovely little case so i will open it and show you i'll put it back after because the cellophane is always my biggest nightmare when it comes to trying to get things back in on camera doesn't always work so these are the knit pro zing nice brightly colored um double pointed needles which are not the uh, interchangeable circulars, but I've got quite a lot of those coming. But those as well I got, I'll, put, I'll leave those there because I can't put them back. I think that is as far as I went with the, knit, with the knitting needles. I've got a few kind of like stitch holders, big ones and small ones um, as well, a few bits and bobs. There's, that's not the only ones I got. I just didn't think show you like the big bag of them. Uh, not that I've got like, too many. So that brings me to crochet hook sets. Now, I'd already got some, and I've got more coming, loads more coming, but I've got some clovers that have been uploaded already and some others, um, Quilted Bear and a few others that I can't remember. But these ones, I did have these myself once, and I did them on a giveaway. These are the Knit Pro Symphonies, and they are absolutely beautiful. I mean, really, really, really gorgeous. Um... Uh, hook so i got some of those the symphony sets which are very very popular i'll put them all there um and the first hooks i ever used were millwood and a lot of people just like the normal kind of hooks these are the rose gold ones so i got a few sets of just these ones and i got some knit pro waves and they come in two kind of colors in the cases you get the clear case, which is um, a lovely little zip-up case, but at least you can see through it. And they've got those really lovely bright colours. So I've got the green and the pink. And then I got the um, single-ended crochet hook, the Knit Pro Zing, which um, look as jolly as the needles did. I can't get in this. Why can't I? Oh, there we are. Defeated. What's this one? Another one of those. I must grab two by mistake. So here we go. I will uh, again put this away, not on camera because I don't do too well. So at least if my business doesn't take off, at least I've got a lot of hooks. <laughs> I'll never be. I'll never lose one again. I can't get hold of the. I can't get hold of the zip. It's gone on the inside. How are we? Here we go. Come on out. There we go. It's got a loop. So let's have a look. Now, here we go. There are the zings. Aren't they pretty? Now, think. Yeah, they're nice. Look at those. I've not used these before, but they are absolutely gorgeous colours. Um, they've got really interesting names too, the colours. And they fit in this little case. Isn't that lovely? So you get a snazzy case and snazzy hooks. So those as well. Um... And I like the fact that you've got a nice substantial ring on there to pull it. Now, I got these because I like the colours of them and I thought they looked pretty jolly. 
I mean, obviously, I don't do embroidery or that kind of thing, like cross-stitch embroidery and all those bits and bobs, but aren't they just snazzy? So I've got those to go as well. Then that brings me to my bit of yarn. I did buy some yarn from this place because they did patents. And um, I'm not going to get this out because it doesn't reseal and it will be all over the place. And um, I've got so many bags that are opened and all over the place. I didn't really want to do that again. But here we go. Isn't that just lovely? It's a DK weight. Um, it's the Fab DK. What we got? Um, I'll see if I can do this without my light. But we've got Fab DK um, shade number. It doesn't give you the name, although it does have a lovely name. 100% acrylic, um, 100 grams. Now, um, I did actually, when I was uploading it, upload the colour because they have got names, but not on the packaging. But these kind of remind me of the Zandra Rhodes colours. And um, I think these guys did it first anyway. And the newer Poundland. Oh dear, I just dropped them off. Um, I'll pick them up in a sec. The newer Poundland ones. Now this is the original of the bright coloured uh, variegated yarn that I used. I made a pair of fingerless mittens and um, a scarf with these when it was really fashionable to have those ultra bright colours. Um, so I got this colour as well, which is much much brighter than the poundland brights um really really stunning color and then i've got this one which has a lot of limey colors in and it's gorgeous look at that that is beautiful i love this one so um yeah those are the yarns that i got i didn't go mad and get lots of patents yarn um but i can in the future i just wanted to get those ones because i like them so much so that is my latest acquisitions for um, for Hobby Rocks. I hope you like it. There's more to come. I've got um, another two parcels on the way. One might be held up at customs and I might have to pay a hefty kind of fee to get it out of jail, uh, which is, um, if that is a genuine thing, I'm, I'm still in two minds whether it's genuine or scam, but I'm beginning to lean towards the fact that it's genuine. That just makes me think I'll never buy from them again because I can't do that. It's just going to ram up the prices um, because obviously I've got to recoup that and that's not good. So I found some of those things in this country. One um, as well, another one of those things that I think they were the um, some of the knitting needles that I really wanted to stock. I wanted to try myself um, because of some of your recommendations um i've managed to find a wholesaler in this country but so far they're blanking me how rude i think it's because you know i emailed them and then it's been a weekend and you know i didn't email them i think it was like thursday so they had time but it just depends how busy they are i guess and whether their staffing levels are good or all that stuff so that's it that's what i've got to show you i've also got a, a, a free of charge a little clover catalog well it's not really a catalog it's just like a page but it does give you all of the different uh, knitting needles now i'm not sure maybe some of you who knit can tell me if these are any good because um i wanted to try and steer away from those kind of uh, circular ones that have that kind of plastic lead that goes from one to the other that looks like a looks like a drinking straw doesn't it um, I wanted to sort of like get away from those because I the only experience I've had were not obviously with clover but um, I think it was with pony but I weren't impressed at all because that lead thing kept coming up and hitting me on the nose while I was trying to use it and it was always in the way and would kind of curl in on itself so I'm going to try ones with a flexible cord maybe make a hat or something to test them out so that would be fun I'll make a hat maybe to go with my scarf that I'm knitting so that'd be nice anyway uh, it's a cowl really but I don't know if I've got enough of that colour I'll maybe work around it anyway thank you very much for watching let me know if any of you do know ever, whether these are um pretty good or not these circular 
it just looks like that tube that I'm not really haven't been impressed with in the past but obviously it wasn't theirs but these are all the different sizes they weren't in, all in stock so my biggest dilemma is how to um, display those where it's not just one when you click on them you're just going to get one big massive page after page of a single knitting needle that's down to chris really he's got to come up with that that's his headache my headache is sorting out the shipping so thank you for watching stay safe everyone take care and i'll see you on the next one bye for now everyone i've got to pick that mess up now bye for now